Crime Watch Daily is riding shotgun with the Los Angeles County Probation Department. Probation Department. We've got incredibly rare access as probation officers go face to face with sex offenders and child predators. Relax, all right? Hold your relax. All right. These special enforcement units are out to make sure rapists and pedophiles are following the court ordered terms of their probation. If they don't, they're shipped back to the slammer. Six teams have been assigned to target high-risk sex offenders in various parts of California. I'll be riding today with Assistant Chief Probation Officer Margarita Perez, who oversees Operation Safe Halloween. We want to target um, those sex offenders that we know have committed children, uh, crimes against children, um, and we want to ensure that we do everything that we can to let them know that we're watching. These situations can turn volatile, so myself and the camera crew must wear bulletproof vests at all times. Is that looking about right, Chief? I <laughs> should, do, should do the job. I look official. <laughs> I'm just going to stay close to you today in case anything goes wrong, OK? <laughs> if something goes wrong, you want to stick close to the guy with the gun. <laughs> OK, the guy with the gun. Make no mistake, today is serious business. These officers have to interact with people who don't want to go back to jail and may carry guns. If something, we're going to use a force or a shooting, the entry team will handle the, and handle the location. OK, nobody come in. We'll handle it. We'll put it on the radio when we can. But we have to retreat. Where we, where we line up the cars, where we park, that's where we're going to retreat to. Now, we're about to roll out with the armed unit of the LA County Probation Department for a series of early morning raids and checks. Essentially, what we'll be doing is some compliance checks on registered sex offenders here in LA County. And the target here will be making sure that they're complying with their court orders and essentially that no children are at risk. The targets this morning, 60 registered sex offenders, a mixture of offences against children and adults. 5.15am. A Crime Watch Daily crew is also riding with another enforcement team led by Officer Steve Howe. They are heading to Pomona, California to check up on a sex offender they know very well. Uh, last Halloween, he was detained for uh, having a child in his home. It turned out it was his girlfriend's uh, daughter. Daughter was the same age as his victim was, so we took him to custody last year. We're gonna see how he's doing today. Just to clarify, out of the 1,400 registered sex offenders that you have in this county, these are the 60 that you would consider the most high risk of offenders? That are, yes, that are currently under our jurisdiction. There's actually um, over 11,500 registered sex offenders within LA County alone. Our first stop is in Santa Monica. This offender has a history of offences against children, is that correct? He has a history of, uh, and has been convicted of having possession of child pornography. Um, he also has a, 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 a prior arrest uh, for other sex-related uh, crimes um, to include rape. Wow, so this is, a, this is a, someone who'd consider pretty dangerous, obviously. Yes. Chief, can you just explain, so we're just going to hold here while they go and check that the property is safe? So, so what the team is doing is they're going to knock and notice, they're going to enter the home, they're going to clear the home, they're going to secure anybody that may be in the home. The team moves in and finds this guy is actually using a different name. That's not enough to warrant an arrest, but Officer Steve Munguia does give him a very stern warning. Okay, we're going to put it in our system that you're, we're giving you instructions to not be using any false names. You okay. always have to use your true name. The fact that he was maybe using a different alias or a different name for magazine subscri subscriptions? Yeah, what, what happens with probation, uh, his assigned field just makes contact, so they'll just come and meet right. and greet, talk to him. What my unit does, we come in and we actually go through everything, look at the computers, go through his personals, and this is the first time we saw an alias. It just concerns me that he may be trying to go online, maybe, under an alias name, which is maybe a concern to us. To us and to any children that might be out there. Team two is in Pomona, and they are just about to move in on a man who is on probation for having sex with an underage girl. That's his car at home. Probation department, come to the door. We got contact, contact, contact. Come on, man. Come to the door, come to the door. Go on. Step out, step out, step out, step out, step out. 
The team moves in and this guy is going down. First location, uh, it's not supposed to have any sexual stimulants, which is things like this. It's also not supposed to have a knife. This was concealed in his, uh, in a bag. And, you know, there's no kitchen where he's at. There's no reason to have that knife. So it's basically used for his own protection. He's not supposed to have any type of weapon. So he'll be going to custody. Chief, so the operation's now been running a couple of hours. And this looks to be what a preliminary report from how your other teams are going across LA. Yes, it appears that um, uh, since we started the operation at 6 a.m. this morning, we've taken uh, about 12 individuals into custody. 12? 12. 12. Um, I mean, you're only checking on 60 today. That's, that's a, like a, what's it, 20% of the people you're checking on are not in compliance. Yes, that's correct. That's correct. Operation Safe Halloween is now heading to a neighbourhood with million dollar homes in the search for a child predator. I know that his victims were like under the age of 10. Filming victims under the age of 10. Coming up, my ride along with the LA County Probation Officers continues. You'll be shocked to see what we found behind closed doors in the home of this convicted child predator. Plus, we'll show you sickening photos of another sex offender's secret hidden crawl space described by police as a sex dungeon.